Hey guys. So, I'm admittedly a bit of a geek on the Aquaponics forums. Um, I spend way too much time there, but I see a lot of questions coming up over and over again. So I thought I'd make up some videos just to talk through some of the problems that keep on popping up on there. So, this series of videos should cover most of the things there. If there's anything I missed, please let me know and I will try and add them. Okay, so for the first one, I thought I'd talk about the most basic you can get. Pumping water from a fish tank to the grow bed, which is pretty much the entire thing that it needs. Okay, so take making this as basic as possible, we want to take all the waste from these guys and just turn it and send it to the grow beds over here. There's nothing more complex than that than just taking the water straight from here to there. Okay, so the way that I've done it here isn't the only way to do it. You could have the fish tank higher than the grow bed and make it so that gravity feeds down into it. You could have it so the fish, so the grow bed is directly on top of this and it drains back, straight back into it. So this is the way that I found works quite well for me. I made it so that I would have a bottom draining tank. So basically it means it picks up all the solids off the bottom of the tank and sucks them directly under. I think that's a lot better this way. It does all the gravity feeding a lot better and so far I haven't had to clean out the bottom of that tank and you can see how clean it is in there. So from there it goes into the sump tank which is what you can see here. And that picks up all the solids and everything and pumps them straight through there, straight through the side of the tank and into the grow beds that you can see there. So from there they go straight into the grow bed, fill it up with water and then drain it straight out and back into the fish tank which is simple as can be. Okay, so this is my sump tank. The basic idea of this is it gives me a place for water level to change. So when the plants suck it up and perspire through it and when it evaporates, it gives a chance for the water level to go up and down without affecting the water level in the fish tank. It also gives me a bit of a backup. So if one of my pipes blows, it'll give a place for it to drain all the water instead of leaving all the fish flapping inside of the fish tank. Okay, so once the water's made its way from the fish tank straight into here, what we want it to do is we want the water to get to every single part of this grow bed. So that's where the siphon comes in. The siphon will let the water drain up to a certain, uh, fill up to a certain point and then it will drain it all straight out. So it drains every last bit of water out of the bed and it leaves it fresh for new water to come along and get to it. So inside of the bed there is lots of bacteria, there is lots of everything inside of it that converts all of the ammonia from the fish and all of the solids, it'll break them all down and then convert it straight into stuff that the plants need and it cleans the fish with the water at the same time. So, for the basics of the system, you want to pump straight from the fish tank into here. It can do it any different way, but that's, the, that's pretty much all you need to do with it. Okay, so there is no set rules on what the media needs to be. I've seen people use bottle cap lids, I've seen pretty much anything. As long as it doesn't mess with the pH of the system, it should be fine to use. So in this bed, I've used white gravel, uh, quartz gravel because it was pretty cheap. In this bed over here, I've used scoria, and that works quite well as well. I've also used black metal gravel as well. They're, but they're all quite cheap, and they work exactly the same as anything else. Okay, so the grow beds and fish tank can be built out of pretty much anything that can hold water. With the fish tank, you want to have something that's a lot bigger. The bigger the, bigger the fish tank it can go, the better, because it'll keep the temperature of the water a lot more stable and it'll keep everything running a lot better. So say inside of the fish tank, since I have a lot more water, if I have something like a fish die inside of it, it'll take a lot longer for the ammonia to get to a lethal stage with fish. So I'll have more chance to notice it before anything really bad can happen. Or say if I've got a blackout, with the amount of fish that I've got in there, I'll have a while before the oxygen levels and the ammonia levels get bad for the fish. Okay, like I said, a grow bed can be built out of pretty much anything. It just needs to be able to hold water. So here's how I built mine. I got rough steel, I got some square tubing steel and I welded it up into the shapes that you can see there and then just lined it with some wood and then some pond liner in between it. It keeps it watertight and that's pretty much all that you need. It can be done completely out of wood, you could use an IPC, you could use pretty much anything. Okay so if you want an idea about how to make your fish tank a little bit easier, this is the first one that I made. It was basically a hole in the ground lined with some wood and then I just lined the side of it with pond liner. It kept it quite wa it kept all the water in and it was all the fish tank that I needed for quite a while but eventually I wanted something that looked a bit prettier because it was a bit of an eyesore but it worked quite well as a fish tank and was quite easy to do. 
So yeah guys, thanks for watching. This was the first part of the videos. I'll have a lot more coming out. I'll go into things like filtration. I'll go into a lot more detail about what we can get and what works inside the system. So if you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer.